Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. We finally got it. Dynamic audio waveforms in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, admittedly, Premiere Pro is a little late to this game, but at least we got them now. Dynamic audio waveforms change based on what you're doing to the clip itself. Um, there are a couple of instances which I'll show you where you won't see changes, but for the most part, you're gonna see changes. Let's have a look. So here I've got some audio music and I've got dialogue here. If I take this line and move it up and down, this is my uh, clip volume, you'll see those changes. If we go to the properties, click on that clip and change that volume, you can see it does the exact same thing. So let me get back to zero here. If we uh, uh, grab my pen tool and you start making changes here, you'll also see that. And if you add the, the uh, control key on Windows, the command key on the Mac, you'll pull out Bezier handles. And when you watch what happens, you can see that the waveform follows directly on the dips and valleys and of the handles themselves. And if we're doing a, a dip this way, again, you'll see that show up accurately. Okay. Let me get rid of those. Now, what if I used some automation on this inessential sound? Let's say we turn on uh, ducking for this. I'm just going to leave the regular keyframes, regular settings, and generate keyframes. And again, you can see instantly it changes, and now the ducking, we can see it Yes. right there. Let's go to this clip. It's very, very quiet. So again, I'll go back to Essential Sound, and I'll boost it here. I'm just going to grab the podcast setting and enhance speech. Watch the waveforms. Boom, just like that. Particularly with Fly Rock. However, Jane. Now going to the audio track mixer, if you change the Stick. audio here, you're not going to see the waveforms change. You'll obviously hear it but because, because you're pulling the volume down, but the audio track mixer is not clip-based. It's overall audio. If you're using some kind of uh, third-party effect, like this example here, where I'm going to go to the audio track mixer, and I'm going to add um, a track effect on this. This is Clarity VX. Um, I've got a whole tutorial on this. It's a remarkable plugin to use to fix audio. And the way you use this is just by dragging this up and down. You hear a big difference if I turn this on and off, but you're not going to see any change in the actual waveform. Now, if we go back to our podcast, you can turn this on and off in the view menu, dynamic audio waveforms. If I turn that off, you can see it goes back to the way it was before. So not necessarily something you have to live with. So you have a choice whether you want to use them. Uh, they're on by default. I like them. I'm going to leave them on. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to show you how to get the most of the new features in Adobe Premiere Pro.